peace to the family. Today, I want to talk about the five things I learned during lockdown. So guys, the first thing I learned during lockdown was to appreciate my surroundings. By that, I mean, going for walks in the local parks. The local parks to me are Memorial, Stockwood, Wardown and People's Park. Currently in Wardown Park. This one isn't where I generally work out. Sometimes I come in for a walk or a bike ride or just to chill, play with my daughter. It's just a nice park to catch a little vibe. alongside the water at Wardown Park. This leads me on to point number two was mental health. And I feel like the lockdown put a lot of stress financially, mentally on families, people, work. Um, the whole of society really was having to adapt to what was going on. So it really affected everyone but affected everyone differently. Speaking to a lot of people, they found that walking really helped them just to get outside and stretch their legs because some of us were working home all day, some of us weren't working all day and just had no structure whatsoever. So for them, it was nice just to get out, get some fresh air, get some vitamin D, and that was enough for them to keep them sane during this lockdown. Some people, they just took to other outlets such as social media, um, saw the rise in a lot of mental health pages popping up on like Facebook and Instagram. For some people, seeing memes or just short bursts of information in a visual form really engages them rather than actually speaking to someone. So what I'm gonna do, I have a friend of mine that set up a Instagram page for CBT, which is Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, and it deals with trauma. I'll put the link in the description box below for the Instagram page. And like I said, it's just little short bursts of visuals to help with people that are dealing with trauma, cognitive behavioral therapy, which is like depression, stress, and anxieties. If you run one lap of war done, it does equal 1K. So if anyone running, this is a great place to come. Five laps, 5K, the views are good. So I'm just gonna quickly show you uh, Memorial Park and Stockwood Park. So at Stockwood you can play golf. As you can see in the background, there's a rugby club there. There's a discovery centre that way. Um, there's plenty of stuff to do at Stockwood Park. As of Wednesday, there's going to be yoga. I think it's going to be over here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. Classes are five pounds for beginners. Um, I'll put the link in the description box as well for the yoga classes. Topic number three for me was comfort eating. Sounds strange, right? But I noticed before lockdown, I didn't really eat that much in the way of snacks and that sort of stuff. But all of a sudden, the comfort eating was, it, at first, I enjoyed it. We were making cakes, buying loads of just junk in the evening, just Netflix, putting on, uh, what did we watch? We watched White Lines, we rewatched Breaking Bad, we watched something else, I can't remember the other stuff, but yeah, a lot of Netflix and a lot of snacks and it was great. So the snacks and everything was just adding up. And I thought to myself, you know what? If any time like now, I could probably lose some weight. So at the time, I think I was 99.8 kg. I'm currently like 93.5. So I've lost a good six kg in a bit, which I'm happy about. But I'll be honest with you, the majority of it was just not snacking anymore. I replaced all my snacks with apples. Don't get me wrong, today is Sunday and I'm going to take you to London later. We're going to Hyde Park. It's my friend's leaving party. He's going to live in Mexico. So there will be a lot of snacking, probably some drinking. So days like that, 
you know, you got to let yourself go. You've got to enjoy. Even yesterday, the good old Arsenal won the FA Cup. I was drinking plenty, eating hella rubbish. But Monday to Friday, generally, we try and keep on track and not eat too much. And another thing that helped was going for walks. When I got hungry, I'd be like, right, let me go for a little 10 minute walk. And that cured the hunger. I'll come back and have an apple. And that little things like that, just tiny little things helped out. So for me, number three was lockdown comfort eating. So this is Stockwood Park. Remember, the yoga class is gonna be here every Wednesday, I think every Sunday, starting next week. I'll put a link in the description. We're gonna head over to Wardown Park and we'll talk about number four. Just bumped into a couple guys I know that went Snowdonia with. They're playing tennis. I'll go over and show you in a sec. But yeah, point number four. Working from home absolutely sucks. Before this, I would always dream of working from home. It'd be like my ultimate job, like to be able to just chill, wake up, not have to drive to work, eat as much as I want, take breaks when I want. But ultimately, I crave structure, routine. And working from home just didn't have any structure at all. And, you know, a makeshift kind of office isn't the best. You don't get to bounce off your work colleagues. So for me, working from home was just, it wasn't a great experience. It's been okay, but there are some benefits from working from home and they can be going for walks, um, spending less money on petrol and spending more time with the family and watching Sky Sports when you shouldn't be. So there were some small benefits from working from home. So I bumped into these guys, Andre and Gabby. Oh, how are you doing guys? I'm really good buddy. Not too bad, not too bad. Good, good. So yeah, um, they were the guys I travelled to Snowdonia with. So today is the FA Cup final, Arsenal versus Chelsea. We've booked a little table in a, I want to say pub, kind of bar in Hackney Central. Couldn't get nothing in North London because of the social distancing, you have to pre-book and most places are sold out. But I'll take you on a quick journey to see if we win the FA Cup today. Arsenal have won the most FA Cups, so I am predicting that we will win today, especially against Chelsea. Light work. 